Last March, we decided to gather the company's 100 most senior leaders. We needed to not only reconnect with each other, but reconnect with why we're here. This was about coming back together to say, hey, wait a minute, we have changed so much. What's still the same? What hasn't changed? And of those things that haven't changed, what do we want to be sure never changes? To help us answer that question for ourselves, we did a little research. I started looking at things that have endured the test of time. Companies, brands, toys, musical groups, concepts. That's what's true of all these things. They've constantly evolved, changed, reiterated, reinvented themselves, and yet they have identified what is core to who they are, and they have nurtured it and grown it and invested in it. We got into working groups and we asked ourselves, what is it about Red Ventures that must endure? We came up with eight pillars, eight sets of behaviors, cultural norms, what we should all be able to expect from each other simply because we work at Red Ventures. Hey, I'm Andrew Blackwell. I'm a creative producer on the corporate communications team. We've had these columns in the plaza for a long time, and we decided it might be time to go ahead and replace them with new artwork. I have always been really interested in the pillars. I actually got here right around the time that the first ones had, had gone up. Just thought it would be fun to bring our skills together. A different change of pace. A chance to make something cool. It was really exciting to gather a group of creatives together from all different verticals. We assigned them all a different concept, and I feel like they really came through. A growth mindset means never saying, I can't. It might mean saying, I'm not very good at that yet, but I'd love the opportunity to try to get better. When Sierra and I were working on it, our first and most obvious indication of, of a growth mindset was quite literal growth all around the pillar. We had this idea where it would start really simple, and as you went through the growth in your career, they start to tangle up, growing together as a company and as a community. We tried to take Red Ventures and break it up into four different parts. We have the creative side, we have the business side, our coders and our, our data engineers, and then the community outreach side of Red Ventures. I really hope that when people walk by this, they'll look at it and they'll say, oh, that's where I am right now. But you know what? In a couple of years, I really hope to be right there doing that thing at the top. Pace means speed. Not speed for speed's sake, but speed because the faster we move to figure something out, the more we can get accomplished. Instead of sitting around and waiting until the perfect opportunity, we move and we move now. When I first started thinking about pace, I was thinking about going fast, and I started thinking about race cars and different modes of transportation, so that was sort of what inspired my design. Some people are ahead, some people are behind, but everyone is running towards this goal. I sort of wanted to add different things that make our work environment creative and unique and fun. RV in the hot air balloon. He's sort of like watching over everybody, excelling in our own ways. I hope when people see this, they're sort of encouraged to keep going. And even if there is, you know, blockers or hard things coming up, they just keep moving forward, keep going, and they're gonna reach their goal. Adaptability means we don't allow change to stop us from delivering everything we can. We adjust quickly, we turn on a dime, we pivot, we find that exciting, and we wouldn't want it any other way. Obviously there's so many moments of adaptability in the Red Ventures history. Red Ventures started as an idea of like two people and then has grown into this huge company. So kind of starting with the two people at the bottom of the column and then this like 
cloud of imagination that's going up and wrapping around the column. There are elements that represent main points that led to what there is today. In the end, we get to the top where RV's logo is, and there's a band showing how all of us come together. This was just an idea or a dream one day, and now we're sitting here in this building through adaptability, through changing, not being afraid to fail and taking a chance, an idea can turn into something huge. Nimbleness means we can move quickly because we stay light on our feet. We don't get mired down in the way we've always done it before. And we'll work around an obstacle instead of sitting back and waiting to build a bridge around it. Focusing on the subject of nimbleness for this pillar, it seemed like an abstract concept. I mean, how do you really portray that sense of flexibility? So I decided to lean into the imagery of koi fish swimming around and interacting with each other along the pillar, all while swimming together as a large group without disturbing the resting water lilies above. There's a lot of symbolic imagery around koi fish, or there's a feeling that we get, that sense of like self-reflection that I think is also key in being nimble and being agile. I'd like to hear what emotions people are feeling when they look at this particular column. Do you feel encouraged to move around? That was really my goal, is that I wanted folks to really engage with the pillar. Purpose means constantly challenging myself every day. Is this the highest and best use of my time right now? Am I doing the most important work that I can do for my team, for our partner, for our organization? We didn't want to define what everyone's sense of purpose was. So we thought the idea would be cool to actually pull perspective from people at RV. We asked friends and colleagues here that could talk about their shared sense of purpose at Red Ventures. And the best way to present that was in quotes. I'm a big fan of type design and fonts. And so I went about pairing those so that they looked expressive and creative. And then using the color and shape to kind of wrap your eye all the way around. I hope that people can look at it and just feel connected. People find purpose in similar things and, and really we're all here to like work together, to grow, to get better, and just be good people to work with. Investing in our people means we give each other constructive, helpful feedback. It means we seize opportunities. We jump in and say, let me be a part of fixing that. It really is about investing our time, our energy, and our talents in making ourselves and each other better. Myself and the five other financial services creatives in the New York office got together. I knew this crew was talented. I did not realize how talented in terms of like illustration. We really just wanted to emphasize people in action, representing various roles of people working together, both remotely and in person. And I just love the little moments of collaboration. You see this octopus who's a creative and he's working hand in hand with an engineering mermaid. You'll see a lot of upward momentum in our column. It's something that we really tried to emphasize through the stairs, the ladders, the winding paths, even the way that the mountains connect and grow up the column. I think it's a great reminder to help other people grow and achieve their goals. It's almost like life imitating art or art imitating life. It really was a team effort and just such a fun experience getting to work with these amazing group of designers and creatives here. You know, we often say we're not a family, we are a community. And a community has much more meaning to it than just a team. When I'm a member of a community, I don't just want to win with that group. I want to invest in making that group better. So it started off with a lot of research, a lot of drawing doodles. We had a lot of different concepts we wanted to try out. The lines in the artwork represent the different paths that we all come from. Red Ventures has a lot of diversity. There's a lot of different groups, a lot of different backgrounds. So just trying to have them intertwined with each other. We really try to just incorporate different communities that we have at Red Ventures, like RV Puffs, Venture Out, Empowered, all these different communities. And then you'll see a lot of little Easter eggs. Anyone who's been a part of RV could potentially connect to this in some way or the other. I hope people pass by the artwork and just remember that whatever color, shape, size, you have a place here at Red Ventures, you can be included in things even if you come from a different path. You still you're welcome. Joy is a choice. It's a choice every one of us make every day. I choose to come in here and find the joy in the challenges we face and the problems we solve and the frustrations we run up against. 
I had people dancing because it's hard not to be joyful while you're dancing. I kind of wanted to add playfulness, fun, that little layer of individuality. On the side, I like making cartoons. You know, I grew up watching Cartoon Network, things like that. I decided to put the chef on the pillar just because I want to include everyone that works at RV. When we come to work, everyone brings this positive can-do attitude and it migrates from person to person no matter what sector you work in. Hopefully it puts a smile on people's faces. We're all going through different things in our lives and I think we need a reminder that joy is always there. Through this project, I think we actually experienced every one of these pillars that we're talking about. It was really rewarding to work with other creatives in different areas that I might not get to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. The process was exhausting, but also really fun. This took time. <laughs> <laughs> it took time and effort. It would be cool to be able to come in and see it every day. Oh, I did that. Like, I left something here. I contributed. We're way closer as a group now after working on this. It was just a really fun project that I didn't normally get to do uh, in my day-to-day -day job. I don't know how long the vinyl will last this time around, but I do know that these concepts are something that should endure past the lives of the columns themselves.